What is up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and I am back giving an update on the Xbox One used game debacle that Microsoft has found itself in. And it's ridiculous, like it, it's really bad. Uh, and, and the confusion, uh, let me try to e explain where it's coming from. It's, it's not from the news reports. It's not from the fans who are sending out false information. It's actually from Microsoft, because Microsoft does not have their stuff together. Apparently, they haven't used their Internet Explorer, they haven't used Bing, because apparently they didn't know this question was coming about the used games. I mean, that's what everybody has been talking about, that's what everybody has been asking about uh, before the reveal, so you would think that by the time the reveal got here, Microsoft would have a definitive answer. Well, instead, what we've got is everybody from the Vice President to Xbox support to the PR all saying different things. So, let me bring you the latest. So, the latest information that I've gotten comes from an interview with Kotaku. They went back and talked to Phil Harrison, who originally started this whole uh, idea of a fee with the used games, and he tried to clarify a little bit about what he actually means. So, let me try to explain this, and again, this is just what we think we know right now, and who knows what tomorrow holds and, and what Microsoft's story will be later on. But here's what we've got so far. Kotaku is reporting that if you buy an Xbox One game, it comes with an activation code. You type that code in, it, it's then connected to your console and your Xbox Live profile. So anybody who is playing on your console, who who is in your house, whether it's your kids, your spouse, your dog, whoever, they can play the game and they don't have to pay an extra fee, they don't have to do anything, they can just play the game based on the sharing settings that the Xbox has built in. Here's where it gets tricky. If I take my game disc and I go over to a buddy's house and we're sitting there playing, if I pop the disc in, it auto-installs on his hard drive because all games are auto-installed on the hard drive. If you're signed into your profile, you and your friend can play that game, no problem. It's just like you're at home playing on your couch. But if you go home and you take that disc with you, that information is still on your friend's hard drive. But if they go to play it, it's going to ask them to pay a fee. The fee? The full price of the game. That's the fee, according to Kotaku and their latest reports. And, and that is according to Phil Harrison, apparently. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go check it out. Now what this means is that places that rent video games, uh, your, your red boxes, places like that, I don't know how that's going to work. I, I, apparently, I mean, I don't see how they can possibly do this unless they work out some deal with them maybe to work it out. Also, keep this in mind, because it is an activation code, there is a possibility they could do it like some of the publishers do right now with online codes and give a grace period and give you a, a temporary code that you could try out for a few days and then if you don't like it, then that's fine. The code expires. If you really like the game, then you'll still have to buy a fee. So keep that in mind. Just because I'm telling you all this stuff, because uh, just because all this stuff sounds horrible, there's still so many different options that they can do in order to try to patch this and fix this and not make it nearly as bad as what it seems right now. The other big thing, and this is big, GameStop, of course, everybody's talking about used games getting be or being able to sell your used games, being able to trade them in. They say, look, Xbox One games can be traded online. And GameStop's president came out and said, look, We've been working closely with Sony and Microsoft. We're not going to announce any details, but trust us, they have used games in mind and they realize how important this section actually is to gaming because, let's face it, a lot of the games that we trade in, it's not just so we can buy other used games. A lot of that money actually goes towards new games. So, I mean, developers are also going to be hurting themselves if they try to keep used games out. So Microsoft apparently realizes this and there's all sorts of options that they can do.
But if you're at home, you're at, you're at your or or your friend is at home and he's wanting to play that game with you, then that little extra fee that they were apparently talking about is the full price of the game so far. Who knows what tomorrow holds? Maybe Microsoft will start using Internet Explorer or Bing and actually pay attention to the internet and know what's coming and have their stuff together for E3 and put together a little bit better performance than what they did today because today they had a, a perfect opportunity to do so much greater stuff but the story of the day is actually the used games debacle and and not being able to play Xbox 360 games and not really having a really good answer uh, for either one. So that's where we stand. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to tell you uh, what's going on as it happens. Of course, news is constantly changing and, and stuff is always coming in. So if you want the latest news and information, be sure you check out VGN, video games and news .com. Also, I want to say thank you so much for trusting VGN because today was the, the best day we've had online. We had more visitors today than we've ever had in the short history of the website. So I'm glad a lot of you are trusting your, your news uh, with VGN and as I take out my microphone. Uh, I wish that was Microsoft right there. But anyway, that does it for me, The Red Dragon. If you want more, be sure you subscribe, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Is it as bad as what it seems, or do you think Microsoft is going to try to patch this over? Because let's face it, they always say no PR is bad PR, or, or what, how does that go? Something like any, there's no such thing as bad PR. I think that's the way it goes. Uh, we're all talking about it, right? Everybody's talking about the Xbox, whether it's bad or good. At E3, we're going to see all the games, and at E3, maybe they can clarify some of this stuff and the weeks moving up to E3, and we'll find out more and, and finally put this to rest. But anyway, that does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.